Hello and welcome to another section of OSA TV. This is another episode of our running series, What is a Fish? Some of the fish families we talked about, like, you know, the Sucrinidae and, 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 and the damselfish, we're talking about these huge, diverse fish families that have conquered the world and been chopped up and occupied different sections. Today we're gonna to be talking about, you know, a fish family which has occupied small, isolated streams in a relatively few isolated sections of the world. And because of that, we're discovering more and more of them every single year. So today we're gonna to be talking about the rainbow fish. I love these guys, the Melatoniid. These are a couple fantastic individuals right here. So these are fantastic schooling fish. When you come into our Coventry location, you'll see a fantastic paludarium tank, and it's defined by all the different varieties of rainbow fish that we have. These guys are native to some of those beautiful yet remote regions of the world. Australia, Papua New Guinea, Raja Ampat in Indonesia, the Southern Filipina Islands, and some of the backwaters of Madagascar. These guys are always found, few new species at least every year, by people that are bushwhacking through these highly remote jungle areas, rich with all these unknown species. They'll find these streams rich with all these colorful rainbow fish. Uh, I myself, when I was in Australia, you can put a dip net in some of the rivers and you can get fish that look this beautiful, um, especially when they're in their natural spawning colors. Despite the fact that these guys are in such exotic locations, many of them took quite well to captivity. So even though we're influxing all these new species, we aren't necessarily dependent on wild populations all that much for these guys as they can be relatively easily reproduced in captivity. I've reproduced some of the easier species myself just by having a bunch of java moss, giving them lots of black worms, blood worms, waiting for the eggs to fall, and then just removing the adults, and then two weeks to three weeks later, you have these relatively short-timed fry that shortly give you pretty confident adults, and they're, they're, they're just fantastic. So these are a relatively new fish family. There's a lot of new types to be discovered. There's a lot of new work to be done with them. And most excitingly, they take really great to not only community tanks that are kind of static like this, but they love stream aquaria. So there's a lot of really cool, exciting things that can be done uh, moving forward with polydariums and streams. So the rainbow fish, Melatoniidae, really great family. Look, come look for them at our store and get a couple for your tank today.